The only way that I remain consistent on YouTube is by how fast I can edit my videos. And as a full-time editor, let me show you one shortcut that doubled my editing speed. All editing programs have tons of shortcuts, but most of them are rarely used. And let's be honest, who can actually remember all of them? But there are some that are used so often that editors will wear out their keyboard. But the problem that I find is that they're usually spread out and in different locations. So why not put them all together so we don't have to move our hands to get at them? Well, actually it's four shortcuts that act as one because the longer you can stay in a creative flow, that's when your videos end up looking better. And by having them grouped together, they allow me to edit really fast and get the job done. No matter what kind of video you're editing, you'll always need a simple straight cut, a trim the beginning and trim end. Because ultimately we're trying to get the clip to be exactly the length that we want as quickly as possible and then move on to the next set of clips. And as you can see, to create a simple edit in Final Cut Pro, you have to press Command B. And if I wanted to trim this section of it, I'd have to go Option Bracket to trim out the front. And if I want to trim from here to there, I'd have to go Option Close Bracket. And it doesn't seem like a lot, but doing that action over and over again and having to slide the hand back and forth. And these are the edits that I use often. And then there's the play button in between. So what I did was something super simple and I tried to make it intuitive for the keyboard and on every application that I use. So my keyboard shortcuts are the same for Final Cut Pro, DaVinci Resolve and Premiere Pro. I was gonna quickly show you how to customize your own keyboard. You just go up to the menu of Final Cut Pro, go to Command Sets, and then click Customize. Now, Command Sets are typically set to default, but we're just gonna click Customize. We are going to duplicate the default, and we're just going to name it, we're just gonna name it what we want, and then click OK. And this is where we're gonna start changing a few things. So right now, if you click on any of these, it'll show you what they bring up. And B right now is set to the blade tool, where if we just press B, it brings up the blade tool and then I can make a cut. Now that doesn't make any sense unless I want to start going and then clicking and cutting. But I don't know anyone that actually works like that. So we're gonna change the blade tool to something else. And B right now is the blade tool, but we want blade. So we wanna take this blade and put it somewhere else that makes more sense for us. And so I'm gonna do something super, super simple and it will make complete sense. So just stick with me for a second. So I'm gonna change the blade tool from B, which makes sense because it starts with a B. I'm gonna move it to C, because right now C is select clip. And select clip is the same as clicking on a clip. But for me, I don't wanna use that that way. I wanna, I wanna take the blade tool and I wanna make a cut because logically that makes more sense for me. So I'm just gonna click on B and then just take the blade and then drag it on top of C. So now C without any modifier is the blade. So that's fantastic. Command C is still copy, cool. I don't wanna change anything else. I just wanna have the blade tool for my cuts. So when I press C, I want cuts to happen. And then on B, I'm gonna take the blade tool and drag it down. So if I want to turn on the blade tool, I can press Command B and the blade tool will turn on. But I wanna have something on the no modifier. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna go to the left bracket and we're gonna take the option trim start and we're gonna move that to B. So now B with no modifier has trim start. And we're just gonna do the same and we're gonna grab trim end because it's on the close bracket and I'm gonna move it to N. So now we have C for our cut. We have B for trim beginning. See where I'm going with this? And N for trim end. So C, B, and N. So I want to cut, trim the beginning, and then trim the end. So just making those three changes in combination with one more is going to speed up your editing tenfold. So we're just going to click save and then we're gonna close it. So now when I put my hand onto the keyboard, instead of having to shift to do those same actions that I do over and over again, Command B for a cut, and then Option forward bracket for trim start or trim end, 
to go here and jump like that. I, I can just put my pinky on C, my ring finger on B, my middle finger on N, and then my index finger on the space bar. So now I can play and cut, trim the beginning and trim the end, all without moving my hand from this position. So as an editor, I can just, I can go right to the beginning of the clip and I wanna remove that part and I just press my ring finger and this just becomes muscle memory. Then I cut, ring finger, cut, and I wanna cut all that, ring finger, then I cut, ring finger, and say this is a clip that ends. And just visually, I can do, and then beginning. And very quickly, I can get through a whole edit without, without even thinking too much about it. As long as I see if there's any edits surrounding the clips, I can just quickly get through an entire edit. So right there, I took 20 minutes of footage and I cut out all the silences and edited it down to 13 minutes within maybe a minute and doing all those edits instead of hunting and then you know, finding the blade tool, making the cut, going to the next place, making a cut, deleting that, and then having to do those multi steps. So changing the blade tool to be cut, trim beginning, and then trim end. This placement of four fingers allows me to edit super fast, especially when I'm doing rough cuts or trying to refine something. Having the muscle memory built in, it takes, it takes a moment to be able to play it's essentially like playing on a piano so it's doing this for and at any point i can as i'm watching the clip so if i'm playing along say like oh there's i can just cut so very quickly you can get through a bass edit without even moving your hand from the keyboard and that's just three keyboard shortcuts that i change there's a whole slew of other things that i would change as well including zooming in and zooming out instead of having them as modifiers I just make the plus and the minus on the keyboard, the zoom in, zoom out, so I can just press one key without having to find any modifiers to zoom in and zoom out very, very quickly. And if you wanna download my keyboard shortcuts, there's a link in the description. And being able to get through a base edit without moving your hand from the keyboard is the key to getting faster. And if you wanna get really spicy, you can assign a lot of these keyboard shortcuts to your mouse if it's programmable. And in this video, I do my review of the Logitech MX Master Mouse 3S and why I think it's the best mouse for any kind of creative work. As always, thanks for watching. Like and subscribe. I'll see you in the next one.